We're just outside of Fort Gibson at the Hidden Lake property of Greenleaf Nursery and joining us today is Mark Andrews and Mark is a grower here at Greenleaf and Mark you've got a couple of trees you're growing behind us. Right. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the difference between a sycamore and a London plane tree? Okay with sycamore and London plane tree there's several differences between them. One of the easiest ways to tell them apart is the leaves mm -hmm. in that a sycamore has a leaf and doesn't have a lot of indentations on the lobes and this is a London plane tree here so you can see that it's got a deeper yeah. cut in there between the lobes on the leaves so this is one of the differences between them and then the other difference is with a sycamore it produces a seed ball but it produces a single seed ball on a stalk and on London plane tree they're produced in pairs mm -hmm. All right, and so now these aren't just any sycamore and regular London plane tree either. They're right. actually particular selections that you guys found around right. Oklahoma here. Can you tell us a right. little bit about them? One of the owners of Greenleaf, the principal owner, John Nickel, found these trees up in Tulsa. And uh, the Silverwood sycamore, he found, it's actually uh, around on Utica Avenue. Uh -huh. And the reason why we selected it is because it has solid white bark all the way down to the ground, whereas most sycamores, you'll see that white bark, but then as the wood ages, it'll start going brown, and the bark will turn brown. This maintains that white bark all the way down to the trunk, even on a mature tree. Wow. And uh, with London plane tree, you'll get some of that white bark, but it's nowhere near as showy. And so the Rockford Road London plane tree shows that same white bark characteristic and uh, all the way down to the ground again and uh, so it's rather unique for a London plane tree and these were selected from trees planted in front of the Philbrook Museum on Rockford Road in Tulsa. Well how about that and it's I mean both trees are really good trees and they're also showy. Um, right. The nice thing about having that white bark is it gives you some winter interest too. Right exactly and so that's really the main reason why we selected it. They're both will end up being big trees uh, the sycamore is definitely larger than a London plane tree, mm -hmm. but uh, both do well, you know, here in Oklahoma and uh, give you that interest all season long as far as having that white bark. And they'll give you a lot of shade on a hot day. That's they, right. We need these bigger. to get a little bigger. <laughs> yes. A little bigger. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing uh, these trees with us and differentiating this too. Okay. You're welcome. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.